As the world continues to grapple with the lingering effects of the pandemic, a new economic challenge has emerged, inflation. Nations are now navigating uncharted territory, seeking innovative solutions to tackle this growing issue. Dive in to discover how countries are managing inflation and the complexities it brings to the global economy. In recent years, inflation has become a prominent concern for economies worldwide. This phenomenon has been exacerbated by supply chain disruptions, labor market imbalances, and fiscal policy shifts, forcing nations to adopt new approaches to manage the economic challenges posed by inflation. This analysis will explore five key aspects of how nations navigate these challenges. Policy adjustments, central banks' approaches, impacts on low-income households, global cooperation, and long-term implications for economic growth. Growth. As we delve deeper into the complexities of how nations are navigating economic challenges in the face of inflation, we invite you to join the conversation and stay informed by sharing this video with your friends and colleagues. Remember to subscribe to our channel to receive the latest updates on this critical issue and other global economic developments. As inflation continues to rise, governments across the globe are facing mounting pressure to adapt their policies to minimize the impact on their economies. The challenge lies in implementing effective strategies to maintain economic stability and address the root causes of inflation, which include supply chain disruptions, labor market imbalances, and shifts in consumer demand. According to The Economist, consumer price inflation in advanced economies was 5.6%, in January 2023, well above the target rates of most central banks. Countries have adopted various policy adjustments to tackle inflationary pressures in response to these elevated levels. One approach that countries have adopted is tightening fiscal policy. By reducing government spending, nations can limit the potential for inflationary pressures caused by excessive public expenditure. This approach prioritizes essential services and investments, contributing to long-term growth while cutting back on non-essential spending. For example, the Federal Reserve has begun to reduce its bond-buying program in the United States and signaled that it would raise interest rates in response to rising inflation. In addition to fiscal policy adjustments, Governments also focus on structural reforms to promote sustainable economic development. These reforms may include improving infrastructure, streamlining bureaucratic processes, and enhancing workforce education and training. By addressing structural issues contributing to inflation, governments can help create a more robust and resilient economy better equipped to weather economic challenges. Furthermore, tax policies that encourage growth and investment are essential tools in the fight against inflation. Governments can foster an environment that promotes economic growth and job creation by incentivizing businesses to invest in new technologies, expand operations, and hire additional workers. This, in turn, helps to mitigate inflationary pressures by boosting productivity and reducing the gap between supply and demand. Targeted relief measures for those most affected by inflation are also crucial in protecting the well-being of citizens. Governments can implement targeted tax breaks, temporary subsidies, or direct cash transfers to help low-income households and vulnerable populations cope with the rising cost of living. Central banks are crucial in addressing inflation, significantly affecting the global economy. These financial institutions are responsible for maintaining economic stability, balancing controlling inflation, and fostering economic growth. As inflationary pressures mount, central banks worldwide are adopting various strategies to navigate these challenges and minimize the risk of unintended economic consequences. According to the International Monetary Fund IMF, central banks in advanced economies are expected to raise policy interest rates in response to rising inflation, while central banks in emerging market economies are expected to maintain a more accommodative policy stance. One common approach is raising interest rates. By increasing the cost of borrowing, Central banks can encourage savings and discourage excessive lending, which can help dampen inflationary pressures. However, raising interest rates can also slow economic growth, as higher borrowing costs may lead to reduced consumer spending and business investments. Consequently, central banks must carefully consider the timing and magnitude of interest rate adjustments to avoid stifling economic growth. In addition to interest rate adjustments, central banks are also unwinding quantitative easing measures, which were initially implemented to stimulate economic activity during periods of slow growth or recession. 
By reducing the amount of money in circulation, central banks can help curb inflation by limiting the money available for lending and spending. However, like raising interest rates, unwinding quantitative easing too quickly or aggressively may adversely affect economic growth. As central banks navigate these challenges, vigilance and adaptability are crucial. Economic conditions are constantly evolving, and central banks must be prepared to modify their policies to maintain stability and mitigate the risk of unintended consequences. This may involve using monetary policy tools, engaging in open communication with the public and financial markets, and coordinating with other central banks and international organizations to share insights and best practices. We've explored some key aspects of how nations address the inflation challenge, but there's more to uncover. To stay up to date with the latest insights and analyses on this topic, share this video with your network and subscribe to our channel for regular updates on global economic challenges and policy developments. Inflation has a disproportionate impact on low-income households, particularly in developing nations. According to the World Economic Forum, the World Bank estimates that inflation has increased the number of people living in extreme poverty by 36 million in 2021. As the prices of essential goods and services rise, the purchasing power of these households diminishes, leading to increased financial stress and difficulty in meeting basic needs. This disparity in the effects of inflation highlights the importance of government intervention and policymaking to protect the most vulnerable segments of society. Governments must prioritize social safety nets and targeted assistance programs to address the challenges of low-income households. These initiatives can include food assistance, housing subsidies, and income support, which provide immediate relief to those struggling to cope with the rising cost of living. By ensuring that vulnerable populations have access to essential resources, governments can help to alleviate the financial strain caused by inflation. In addition to providing immediate assistance, policymakers must also focus on long-term solutions that promote inclusive and sustainable growth. This involves implementing policies that create economic opportunities for all citizens, regardless of income level. Such policies include investments in education and vocational training, infrastructure development, and support for small businesses and entrepreneurship. By creating a more level playing field, governments can help ensure that economic growth benefits are shared more equitably among all citizens. In today's interconnected global economy, the collaboration between nations is vital to addressing the challenges posed by inflation. As inflationary pressures transcend borders, it becomes increasingly important for countries to work together to develop effective and sustainable solutions to combat inflation and mitigate its economic consequences. Through cooperation, countries can pool resources, share knowledge, and leverage collective expertise to devise comprehensive strategies for tackling this complex issue. One way that countries can collaborate is by coordinating fiscal and monetary policies. By aligning their approaches to managing inflation, nations can create a more stable and predictable economic environment that benefits all. This can involve synchronizing interest rate adjustments, coordinating fiscal stimulus measures, and sharing information on best practices related to economic policymaking. Global cooperation can take various forms, from bilateral agreements between individual countries to multilateral initiatives involving multiple nations. Nations. International organizations, such as the International Monetary Fund and the World Trade Organization, play a crucial role in facilitating this cooperation by providing platforms for countries to engage in dialogue, share experiences, and collaborate on shared economic challenges. In January 2023, the IMF's World Economic Outlook update highlighted the need for global policy coordination to address inflation and ensure a sustainable economic recovery. Inflation, while offering short-term benefits, such as stimulating demand and encouraging investment, can negatively affect long-term economic growth if it persists at high levels. The uncertainty created by sustained high inflation can have wide-ranging implications, leading to a slowdown in economic development. One significant impact of high inflation is the erosion of savings. As the purchasing power of money declines, individuals and businesses may find that their savings are worth less over time. This erosion of savings can discourage people from saving for the future, leading to reduced financial security 
and a potential decrease in economic investment. Another consequence of persistently high inflation is its unfortunate effect on investment. Uncertainty about future prices and economic conditions can make businesses hesitant to commit to long-term investments, leading to reduced capital expenditure and slower economic growth. Furthermore, high inflation can increase borrowing costs, making it more difficult for businesses and households to access credit and finance investments. As governments and central banks work to combat inflation, they must carefully balance short-term economic concerns with long-term growth objectives. This involves monitoring inflationary pressures and adjusting monetary and fiscal policies to control inflation while supporting economic growth. This delicate balancing act requires ongoing vigilance and a willingness to adapt and adjust policy measures in response to changing economic conditions. In conclusion, navigating the economic challenges posed by inflation requires a multifaceted approach, encompassing policy adjustments, central bank actions, targeted assistance for low-income households, global cooperation, and a focus on long-term growth. As the world continues to grapple with this complex issue, governments, central banks, and international organizations must work together to develop innovative and effective strategies to mitigate the impact of inflation on the global economy. If you found this analysis insightful and informative, please share it with others interested in learning more about the challenges of inflation and how nations are navigating this economic landscape. Don't forget to subscribe for more in-depth analysis and insights into the world's most pressing economic issues.